Hello. In this episode, we'll uh, see how to install libraries uh, needed for TensorFlow in Anaconda. So um, there are many libraries that you can install in the future, but future, but um, I will show you just a couple of them which um, you may need um, very frequently. And the idea is that uh, most of the instructions are on Google, so you can just search in Google and do it. Um, so of the libraries that I will consider um, having is NumPy, SciPy. NumPy is like a MATLAB, if you know that program. They can make, do matrix multiplication really fast. And uh, Python, the original array is very slow. So NumPy created uh, a fast operating array. So it's mostly for speed. And with the NumPy, um, using it, um, there are various, various mathematical functions that can be done using these NumPy arrays, that's uh, SciPy. And matplotlib is a MATLAB-like plot. It's a very fancy plot that engineers and scientists like. Uh, it's a pretty picture, so Python mimic that. And then Panda is like a, a Python likes the Excel spreadsheet, so they kind of mimic that. And then how to input and output and operate on these spreadsheets. Seaborn is a statistical data visualization. There are many correlations and all those kind of things in machine learning appearing. So um, there are packages for that. And scikit-learn is a collection of machine learning algorithms, um, regression, and many things. And so these are some libraries that you may consider installing. And the reason here is that if you go to Anaconda Navigator, um, you open it up, um, you will find that um, um, in your root directory when you install the uh, Anaconda, Um, let's see. Okay, here. Now, if you're in the root directory, if you look for environment, many of the programs that I just mentioned are already there in the basic Anaconda install. For example, NumPy or here, Matplotlib is here already. Uh, NumPy is here. So, so many of these are already here. The problem is that if you go to home directory, the one that we just installed it here, TensorFlow 2.6, like any TensorFlow environment. So here, if you look at the environment, we do not actually have, let's say, um, many of things uh, that we may consider. So NumPy is there, so that's fortunately very good. Um, let's see. Um, do we have matplotlib? No, we don't have matplotlib. Do we have scipy? Maybe. Scipy is there. So we have numpy, we have scipy, we don't have matplotlib. Do we have panda? So as TensorFlow improves in the older version, they didn't even include NumPy, but now they do in 2.6. So that is a good thing. Uh, so Panda. Pa Panda is not there, isn't it? So you have to install it yourself. And Seaborn scikit-learn, let's see. Yeah, Seaborn is not here and scikit-learn is not here either. So you need to install some of them. So, okay, so NumPy scipy is there, but we need to install matplotlib panda c on scikit-learn. So how do we do this? Well, the installation should be done using this uh, command prompt, anaconda PowerShell prompt. And we want to go to the TensorFlow 2.6 environment, which is, I named it on the TF26. So I have various TensorFlow versions. So I am in TF26 version. And here I need to type the comments. So what are the comments? For matplotlib, on the install. So I just Google search Anaconda install matplotlib. There is. Um, search result, and if I scroll down here, 
typically using the conda package, these are the things that you should run the one of them. I just picked the first one. I cut and paste, like control C, control V, and then I'm installing. Okay. So just like installing TensorFlow, like a minute or so, it will ask what it will install, and then I say yes. <clears throat> and then you can see that it will install MATLAB package. Some packages are large, it will take a while. Some packages are relatively reasonably small, so they don't take too much time. I think MATLAB is about to be done. Okay, so it's done, isn't it? How do I know it's done? Um, well, if you actually go to Anaconda Navigator. So the environment we are typically we're currently interested, TF26 environment. You go to environment. We will have Matplot. Okay. Um, we can try some other libraries, like um, what was the next one? Pandas, isn't it? Install panda. Um, actually, I prefer this panda anaconda org. Panda install pandas. And we'll check which program it needs to install. Do I want to install? Yes, of course I do. And here is Panda. Similarly, I can do Seaborn. Again, here's the comment for Seaborn. Statistical visualization package. I want to install. Yes, I do. It's done. And sorry. Learn. I could learn Anaconda. Shows how to do it. Um, other than Conda, there's also PIP, PIP, you can install using that. I just happened to show you using the Conda package. Okay. Yes. And it's done. And if you check here in the environment, now the environment for TF26 should show, um, but I guess if I go to home and then environment. Or maybe I move to base and reload it. TF26. And then check the environment. Panda is there, isn't it? And I'm pretty sure scikit-learn Seaborn is there too, isn't it? So we have installed uh, Matplotlib, Panda, Pandas, Seaborn, Scikit-Learn, and we already have NumPy and SciPy that comes with TensorFlow 2.6. Um, in the future, maybe future versions of TensorFlow will have included all the other of them as well, and then you don't need to install them separately. But as we go along this, um, um, in, in many episodes, maybe there are other packages we need, and we can always Google and search and install similar like this using the Anaconda prompt shell. And um, this basically summarizes how to install libraries if need arises. Thank you.